Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a agility boost contraption with circuits version 2, so that whenever you swing your arms upwards to activate the ability, you can run around super fast and you can jump really high. This is all fully customizable and you can change the speed and jump height to whatever you want. You can also change how long you want the cooldown to be. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go into our maker pen. We can do this by going into our watch, clicking backpack, and clicking use on the maker pen. We can then grab that and go into our palette on the top left. Once we're in our palette here, we can click on circuits version 2 and search chips. This is where we'll be typing in all of the chips we want to get. We're going to get the git local player chip. I'm going to put this on surface so it's really smooth or easy to organize. And then I'm going to get the, I'm just going to search up velocity and we should start seeing, let's see, player right hand velocity and player left hand velocity. Those are two we're going to need. Then we're going to need vector splits. Vector splits. We're going to need one for each of those. You can, if you have your surface snapping enabled, you can actually just click on the wire and it'll automatically wire them up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unwire that though, just in case that didn't happen for you. And we'll wire this stuff up uh, later. So the next thing we're going to need is a add, an add chip. Oops, I didn't backspace everything else. All right, we've got our add right here. We'll put that up here. Next, we're going to need a greater or equal. All right. Now we're going to need an event receiver. We can put that in the bottom left, maybe here. I'm trying to organize this as best as possible to help make it simplistic. All right. Now we're going to need two if chips. One if right here, one if right here. We're going to need two Boolean variables. We can just look up Boolean variable. Uh, Boolean values are just true and false. So this will help us make the cooldown. So we're going to put those right here and here. Now an important thing with the Boolean variables is you have to make sure that their name is the same for them. So let's just put it as maybe, um, I don't know, uh, we could put it as cooldown. Cooldown. You want to click submit and make sure those are both the exact same name or else this will not work. Okay, now we're going to need two delay chips. One right here and one right, let's just put the other one right here. All right, I'm gonna move these variables a little bit um, down, right? Ooh, it looks like this one did not get renamed. Uh, so definitely make sure you rename, I didn't click submit, there we go. So as you can see, they're both the same name. Um, and now we're going to need a player remove role, or player add role and player remove role. So player, player add role, and there's player remove role. One and, two. and you can move one of those delays in between the player add roll and player remove roll. Alright, let's get started on wiring this stuff up. The first thing we're going to want to do is configure our event receiver to update 30 hertz using your configure tool in your maker pen. This um, sends out a signal uh, 30 hertz in a second. So I don't know how fast 30 hertz in, but it's it's very fast. So it's pretty much a constant update. We're gonna wire that to our if chip. We're gonna wire the then of the if chip to the other if chip. And for the conditions of he these, we're gonna have to wire some stuff up up here. So we're gonna wire get local player to player right hand velocity and player left hand velocity. 
then those are both going to go into the vector splits. These are splitting them both up into x, y, and z coordinates. The y's, only the y pins, are we're gonna wire into the add. And the sum is going to go into the greater or equal. This is checking if both of our hands are going a certain speed. So we're gonna configure the b pin of the greater or equal to 10. I find this a good speed for your hands to be going. You can mess around with that if you want. We're then going to wire this boolean result to one of the if chips, the condition pins. The other condition pin is going to go to one of our cooldowns right here, preferably the top one. We can move that a little bit over. Now what you're going to want to do is pull out your wire tool and click on this thing right here. If you click on it, it'll change it to true. You want this to be true. Now one thing we're actually going to have to do is by default they're set to false. But we actually have to have this set to true for it to work. So we actually are going to get our update receiver. We're going to unwire it from the if chip, wire it to this, and this is going to set it to true. And then we can wire this back to if. If we don't uh, reset this value to true, then the whole machine won't work. So now we're going to wire this then to our run on our delay. We're gonna configure our delay to 15. All right. Once we run the delay, we're going to wire it to this bottom cooldown that's set to false. After the delay, we're gonna run that to cancel on the same chip, just a cancel pin. And then on the other side, the cancel pin is going to go to true, this true variable. After um, we set this to false, this other pin on the false cooldown, we're going to wire that to the player add roll, the player add roll to the run on the delay, and the after delay to the player remove roll. We're then going to configure this pin on the delay to 10 seconds. All right, then what we're going to need to do is go into our palette, go into gadgets, game chips, and on the second page, you'll see a roll chip. We're going to need to spawn this in. We'll give this roll a name. Um, this can be whatever you'd like. I'm just going to name it super because it kind of gives you superpowers, makes you really fast and makes you jump really high. We're going to click configure on this, edit roll. And if I grab that over, oops, can't grab it. You'll see that there on, lo on locomotion first page, there's walk speed, which you're gonna override, and jump height, which you're gonna override. Now, this is how much extra you wanna make your walk speed and jump height whenever this roll is given to you, whenever the ability is activated. So why don't we just set this maybe to 1.8 in the jump height, Maybe around there is good. Give you a little extra jump height. Actually, let's do a little more. I like jumping high. It's pretty fun. All right. Now on our whoopsies on our player add roll, we're gonna configure this value to whatever you named your roll chip. If you remember, I named it to super. Um, super. Then you're gonna configure this player remove roll also to the same thing. All right, and then we're just going to wire the target to the get local player and also the target of this one to, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Also the target of this one to get local player. All right, so now all you have to do is test it. So you swing your arms up like this, and then whenever you run around and, and jump around, you'll see that you have kind of a super agility, or uh, however much you boosted your, your roll chip by. So you can configure that and customize it by however much you want. So that's going to be pretty much it for this one. If you guys have any questions or any kind of tweaks uh, you'd make to the system to make it better, uh, you can put them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. Peace.